What is security? They do. Security is usually an assurance of a situation or a process. However, the methods and the effects of security can vary widely. Security is not usually the goal. Security is part of achieving a goal. It is important to choose a model of security that supports your ultimate goal. So let's explore four models of security. First, emotional security. Emotional security is based on emotional assurance. The stronger the emotions, the more the assurance. It's a self-sustaining loop. It doesn't need to be anchored in reality. It just is. It's a positive feedback loop. We feel secure because we feel secure. Emotional security is good for situations that aren't tightly anchored into reality. We all begin with feelings, familiarity, comfort. We are secure because our loved ones, our surroundings make us feel secure. And at first, we don't need any more. Even though emotional security can be its own crazy little world, it's still real. The need for emotional security is real. The effects of emotional security are real. When my father died, there was little solace in this world. The security I needed was the emotional security that was shared between my friends and my family. But powerful emotions shut down the thinking parts of our brain. The longer we rely on emotional security, the more likely we are to become divorced from reality. A security professional must learn how to wisely use and be used by emotional security. Next is when security is an assurance that things will not change. If you ask Google, what is security? The nascent God suggests the state of being free from danger or threat. And Wikipedia has a similar answer. These simple definitions of security require an assurance of isolation, of protection from change. Change is always unpredictable. Change is dangerous. Change is a threat. This model of security is difficult to use if you must face the future. As long as you live, change can and must happen. But it is useful if your attention is in the past or you focus on the immediate present. For example, I have used the assurance of stasis and isolation to achieve security when I'm handling forensic or log data. I also use the security of isolation when my children were babies. Isolation is a good security model when today is enough. You don't really care about the outside world. You gather everything you need into one place and exist independent of the world. Number three is control security. This is a security model where security is an assurance of control. Obviously, this form of security is most useful to those who wish to maintain control. Dan Gear is one of the respected leaders in the security community. 
gear has a lifetime of experience with government and critical civilian enterprise if you ask gear to define security he always says i say much less secure because one is secure that is to say one is in a state of security if and only if there's the absence of unmitigatable surprise dr gear is implying that security can occur when surprises are anticipated controlled and mitigated in the control model of security you improve security by improving your awareness and your control over anything that might affect you total awareness and control of surprise is a valid security model but it's difficult and expensive I use this model when I had lots of understanding, lots of resources, and lots of control. It works best in a slowly changing environment. For example, I used this model when my children were small. I knew that they needed changes, but I attempted to anticipate and control those changes. Our fourth security model is focused goal security. This is an assurance of progress towards tightly focused goals. This model works best when you wish to achieve meaningful change in an unpredictable world. A project manager has a unique view of security. Once you get them to open up, they say they have security when when I have a meaningful assurance that my most important goals are going to happen on time and, and close to budget. System administrators also have a focused view on security. To a good sysadmin, security is simply maintaining the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of IT systems and business data. Assuring progress towards carefully chosen and focused goals is a powerful tool, and it's a powerful security model. This is probably the best model when you face competent opposition. Also, a flexible, capable team can sail the winds of change and harvest new opportunities as less important goals are sacrificed. Assuring a few critical goals is the only model of security that sort of worked as my children became teenagers. So, is one of these four security models always best and the rest are poor substitutes? Or could it be that security changes its nature, its practice from time to time and from place to place? The real question here is, what does security mean to you? And why do you feel secure?